Ho, ho, ho. Now this is going to be the second special Christmas episode here at the Movie Clubhouse podcast. Enjoy. You are listening to the Movie Clubhouse podcast. Tune in multiple times a week for brand new reviews. Hello, hello, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Movie Clubhouse podcast. The greatest place to be if you love movies and TV. Today, we hope you're all doing great and that you have watched a lot of exciting movies and TV in the last couple of days. If there are anything you want to discuss or have any questions for us at the Movie Clubhouse, feel free to reach out to us at our mail in the show notes or at any of our socials, which mainly is x instagram and youtube you can probably reach us at some other places too if you really search for us but that is all today we have a brand new review outlined for you and it's nothing else than our second christmas special which is candy cane lane the brand new christmas movie that is now streaming on amazon prime has been laid out for us to review and we have seen it and about to give you our very concisive thoughts. So without further ado, let's get straight into the review. So we have just watched Candy Can Lane, or it has been a couple of days since we watched the movie. We have now collected our thoughts. We can say that this was a weird Christmas film. It was a really interesting Christmas film also. There are a Christmas film without any snow uh, in the whole movie, basically. That's a big thing that some people really care about, so I need to mention that. But the story overall, was, it, was, it was a weird story. It's a really weird story with some weird elements. But it was also a really funny story with some funny elements, some great jokes, and some. it's a pretty solid story, even though it's weird. It has some really fun dad and daughter time uh, in the middle of the movie, which were so adorable to see, and was some of the some of the more impactful things in the movie. Basically, when it comes to the main characters and their performances, the main character in this movie is basically Eddie Murphy, who is playing a dad, and we think he was really funny. Uh, Santa is also a part of this movie, however, he comes towards the end of the film, so don't expect a movie with a lot of Santa. But he was also a little, oh, he felt a little bit off, basically. Otherwise, the characters were pretty charming. And they played their part in the story. The villain was fun in this movie, but also a bit annoying. It wasn't that really cool, badass villain that we want to see. But it was still a fun addition to the movie. The villain is basically a evil elf from Santa's workshop, to summarize it very conclusively. Regarding the themes of the movie, this movie is a lot about family, a lot about competition and what Christmas is for, really. And Christmas isn't really for just... Christmas and the packages and winning this competition that this family is in the middle of it. It's more about family and being together, as you may have expected it to be. And it's also a lot about that only you can choose your future, that no one should be able to decide your future for you. It were some jokes in this movie that were a lot more for about older people, I would say, that the youngest may not understand. But that is actually fine, because then I think this movie is a lot can be fitting for a younger audience, but then it means that you both have something for the younger audience and the older audience when it is some aspects to it that maybe go over the head for the younger audience. I think that's great still. But this movie is also a lot about wishing and fulfilling wishes. So that's also a big aspect of this film. When it comes to the more technical and visual aspects of the movie, this movie has a one scene or many scenes that actually feature very small dolls made of glass, basically. And these dolls are pretty interesting. They are actually one of the funniest parts of the film. But they also are visually very impressive because they have a very low frame rate in their animation compared to the other film, which is pretty much standard 24 frames per second. But these dolls have a very low frame rate, so it makes them seem seem a lot like toys, basically. And I think the CGI overall for this movie is really fitting. There are some animals that are CG in this movie, 
you can clearly see that they are CG a little bit in how they move and behave, but it's still fun. And I think the CGI works overall for this movie pretty great. This movie is also about this competition, as we mentioned earlier, a lot about decorating houses, basically. The family is in this, the, f- the focus in this family is basically around the competition that revolves around com- decorating your house in terms of Christmas stuff, basically. And they are set out to win a $100,000 prize, basically. So the movie is centering a lot about around that. And there is that was, is when a lot of the teams come in on what Christmas is about and basically like that. But this movie is, when, in terms of decorating the house, I think this movie has a very mar- marvelous and magical set design at times. The house decorations that are featured are very beautiful. And they are also visiting some sort of Christmas shop in the middle of the film, which is also very beautiful in terms of decorations. Uh, costumes on this side, however, I would say we're on the weaker side. There weren't that many cool Christmas designs, costumes. The characters mainly were basic clothes. The elf that was the villain in this film basically had some Christmas costume, but it was nothing that made you notice it anymore. It was nothing special, really. So I think the costumes were on the weaker side, but the set design were really great for this film. When it comes to the performances and casting, I think overall everyone in this film performs okay. There is not no award-winning performance, but most actors gave and actresses gave a strong performance. Nothing award-winning, but still great. If we were to look at the casting list for this film, we can say that Eddie Murphy is one of the main characters, but the movie also stars Tracy Ellis Ross as Carol the Carol Carver, Gillian Bell as Pepper, the villain, Ke- Genian Walton as Joy Carver, Tidious E. Mix- Mixon as Nick Carver, and Madison Thomas as Holly Carver. Nick Offerman also makes, makes an appearance as Pip, one of these toys. Chris Reed is Lamplighter Gary. Robin Teed is Cordelia, and David Alan Greer is Santa Claus. This movie is also directed by Regnade Haddin, and the writing credits go to Kelly Junger. So that is basically all for the writing credits of this film. Or not the writing, the actors, actresses, director, and writing. I think everyone has done a great job. And I think this film actually featured, in terms of narrative and storytelling, some really funny family jokes and dynamics. Their five, it was really interesting to see their family around Christmas, how they overcame certain problems, and their dynamics, basically. This family had to do a lot of hard work in the movie in collecting certain Christmas decorations, basically. I will not give any further into that because that's maybe too much spoilers. But the story was not as complex as I would have liked. It was more of that the family having to do hard work than complex work. There were some wild scenes, really wild scenes in the movie that were fun to see. And we really need to talk about this big prize in the story, which were $100,000 for this take Christmas decoration award, which also had a big impact on the overall theme of the movie. I think also when they had to hunt for these Christmas decorations, basically, that that hunt were a long part of the movie. It, it took up a, too much of the movie, basically. It was a funny hunt, but a little bit too long hunt. And it didn't feel like a satisfying conclusion to that overall hunt for the Christmas decorations basically i think the dialogue of the film was okay it was some fun things that were said and and done basically but it was nothing over the top or special the writing was good but not revolutionary it had these fun moments basically when it comes to the ending of the film i think it was conclusive however not yet satisfying it wasn't that the story gave anything for me to take away from it more than what Christmas was for. And that is nothing special. We have seen that so many times before. The ending was get it was conclusive, but not satisfying. I would have liked to see a more impactful story. It seemed like the family lived heavily, happily ever after, it seemed, but without much change. So I didn't feel the story impacted the family's dynamics in their family's character as much otherwise. So I think it wasn't that much change that the overall theme and story drove to the family in the movie. So therefore, I would rate this film at about 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was a fun time, but it didn't have that impactful story that I wished for. It did not feel Christmassy enough also. Not everyone has snow for Christmas, but I feel that was a big missing thing in this movie. Snow and the more Santa's workshop 
thing was a lot or it was featured in the movie in some terms i guess but it was a thing that i missed a little bit mainly the snow however that is of course fine if you don't if you live in a country or a christmas have christmas without snow however i where i live here in north of sweden we have a lot of snow in the christmas or pretty much all around the year so that is a big important thing for me in christmas movies basically so that is a thing i felt missing so the score will be 3.5 out of 5 stars so that is basically our review for Candy Cane Lane, starring Eddie Murphy and some others. If you want to watch this movie, I think you should watch it and give your own opinion on the film. It's a really fun Christmas movie, however not that impactful maybe. But it's streaming on Amazon Prime Video right now if you want to watch it. And we encourage you everyone to go watch it basically during this Christmas season. So that was our review for Candy Cane Lane. If you want to hear more reviews or more episodes of the movie clubhouse podcast we encourage you to subscribe to this podcast because we are now dropping episodes here and there multiple times a week so you should absolutely subscribe to this podcast and if you want to you could also leave a review because it helps us a lot to climb higher on the podcast lists and get even more people to watch or listen to this podcast so that will be greatly appreciated here in these christmas times it will feel as a warm Christmas gift for us at the Movie Clubhouse. But that was all for this episode. Until we see you guys next time, have a great time watching. Ho, ho, ho. Now that has been the second special Christmas episode here at the Movie Clubhouse podcast. We now want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But also, be sure to stick out for the third special Christmas episode dropping in the coming week. Now, that was all for us. Yeah.